Thumper's not feeling good. Hey, baby boy. He got beat up by Georgie. Touch, honey. You got touch, touch. There you go. Yeah. But um, our vet got him on some pain meds and he started eating again. So I think it's going to be fine. She's broody. She approached him thinking, let's do this, big boy. And he can't see. He thought it was aggression. He lashed out. And then it was aggression on her part. And since she can see, she won. And she hurt him inside the mouth. Are you going to let me see it? Are you going to let me see it? Are you? No. I'm not going to make him. He's so good. This is our newest rescue. Um, she has been determined uh, by DNA as a she. Her name is Halo, but we started calling her Harlow because she's gorgeous and sexy like the wonderful Jean Harlow. Anybody under 50 needs to look it up. Um, yeah, now Harlow has uh, fungal pneumonia. She's doing better. Um, we'll know in a couple of weeks whether it's perfectly cleared and if there's any uh, residuals. This is Cha-Cha. He doesn't know what to make of a female that looks just like him. We don't breed. So that's not going to happen. But it's lovely to have the two. This is Sadie. She's our very first rescue. She came to us from drug dealers. Actually, she was passed around through many drug dealers. And uh, used as chattel. You know, value. They had a thousand dollar drug deal. They gave 500 and threw in the bird. And she came with a vocabulary of angry renditions of the F word. There were renditions I haven't heard in my life. Cookie. Uh huh. Cookie is our severe. And she is pretty severe. She is. Cookie bites. Loves men though. Go to any guy. And she's. Uh oh. Come here. Up. All right. Cookie is this guy's girlfriend. Or little sister. I don't know. They're not mating, thank you, God. But he loves her. He even feeds her now and then. <laughs> kind of gross. Here's the other half of the rescue. This is uh, Indy. I love you. Indy talks like he's possessed. He turned out to be a he, DNA. Um, Indy was found in a park many years ago and lived with this family that had Harlow. Um, not sure when this plucking began. There's no um, organic reason that we can find, like disease or infection. We're thinking hypovitaminosis, vitamin A deficiency that's pretty severe. Their diet was good, not the best. We're, we're giving them the best now. We hope it will resolve. We're not expecting it to. And then we have our most beautiful Georgie girl. Uh, wild caught 36, 38 years ago. Which is just heartbreaking in my opinion. I apologize every day. She was then kept by one order owner for all those years, and since they were in their 30s when they got her, and she was a baby, they're now in their 70s, and this is why we recommend to everyone, if you want a bird, please find one your own age. They live a human lifespan, 75 to 85 years, and you don't want to have to give them up like that. They don't understand. They think you're going to be there till the end. Georgie can't be contained. We take her out of the cage every day. She only sleeps in it, but she's not one to stay on her perch like everyone else. She wanders, roams, gets in trouble. Oh my lord, this bird is my child with ADD. So there you go. Then I'm out here today making their toys. Oh, so people, if you don't mind, Hit us up for some contributions. Let's keep these guys alive, healthy, 
They go to the vet at the drop of the hat if they need it. And they go every six months even if they don't. So, and especially this guy. This guy needs a lot of special needs. He's crippled from the people that had him. They broke his leg. They broke his face. You can see that he's got scissor beak. It's because they smashed him in a door. They, they, it was horrible. So, him most of all. I mean, the poor guy. Touch, sweetheart. He was scared of everything when he came here. So we've taught him to expect to be touched when he hears the word, rather than be surprised, especially since much of the touch he had was painful. Okay. Thank you.